Joining us now, Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts, member of the Senate Banking Committee. Uh, Senator Warren, welcome. Good to have you with Thank us. Thank you. It's good to be with you. You have been critical of uh, Mr. Powell, and you, I think, are going to be critical of this move today. I just think it's the wrong direction. Look, all of the signs are going in the right way. That is, uh, inflation is abating, the economy is softening. We've seen GDP begin to pull back a little. And we've acknowledged all along that the problems we have that have been driving prices higher are not all problems that you can fix by raising interest rates. You know, we have a war in Ukraine that messes up supply chain and energy costs and food costs. We've had a lot of price gouging that giant corporations don't want to talk about, but families are sure feeling it. And you can raise interest rates, but it's not going to affect those. You've got other tools you have to work. We've had supply chain kinks that are beginning to unkink. Again, not affected by interest rates. And what concerns me is that Chair Powell hasn't just raised interest rates, he has raised them on a curve unlike anything Steepest we've in, seen. Deepest in 40 years. Deepest in 40 years. In 14 months, he's gone up five points here. And that's when things start to break. Plus, look where he's aiming. He's aiming to put people out of work. So I take your point that inflation has come down, yeah. but it is still elevated yeah. by recent historical standards. Absolutely. And that exacts a very severe price, particularly on low-income individuals Absolutely. or people on fixed income. They they hurt because of that. So if, you, if you're committed to the idea of bringing inflation down, how can the Fed help do that if not merely by raising interest rates. Well, what are the other tools they have? And let's put Congress off to the side, because there's a fiscal side here, too. Right. But with respect, I think it's the wrong frame. When you start it by saying, what else can the Fed do? The Fed is a one-trick pony. The Fed raises interest rates and lowers interest rates, I mean, right. basically. So they look at the world through that lens. But look at the effect of price gouging, for example. And the data, uh, depending on who you want to read and what you want to look at, but at least 40 percent of the increase in prices attributed to price gouging. That is, look at industries where there's greater concentration, and what you see is prices went up more sharply, and you see that um, uh, margins went up, that profit margins were going up. It, the Fed is the wrong actor to go so after that. Done, That's the FTC. In your view, they've done more than even they should <laughs> right. have done. And to to squeeze out what, what inflation remains, you would look at, what, legislation to address uh, price gouging? Legislation could be part of it, but the FTC is part of it, the attorney general. We have laws in place that give us some tools on price gouging. I'd like to see us do more. That would be the legislation part. States also have anti-price gouging laws, and they can bring those to bear. Um, partly, you can use jawbone in, on it, too. The, the chairman of the Fed, the president of the United States, can talk about these industries with specificity, about who's in there pushing prices up more than is justified by an increase in cost.